I haven't got that much time to build the spoon feed. Spoon feed is a little bit more natural to, to feed the birds. And I do tend to hand rear macaws uh, with a spoon. My hands may look, look a bit grubby, but I'm sure you have been cleaned with a domestic type uh, cleaner. Being more than dirt. These chicks are getting fed every four hours. They'll be getting fed every four hours until they're about eight weeks old. I have them in a brooder at the minute, it's set at about 30 degrees. It won't be long before they'll all be out of the brooder and they'll use their own body heat to keep warm. But I do have a bird room that's kept at a, a fairly high temperature and a constant temperature all the time. I tend to keep these birds uh, in the brooder on a cat wood based litter. It's, it's a cat litter, but it's wood based. Uh, the reason for this, if they do pick it up, swallow it, it will, di it will dissolve and they'll come, come out the other end. Uh, I've had problems in the past with especially cockatoos. Galahs will eat the bedding. If you don't catch them, if they're hungry, and they generally always are, the, the cockatoos they won't eat the bedding. You can't put tissue down, but tissue does tend to have, you do tend to get problems with splayed legs. So I avoid tissue. I've only got them on tissue here, uh, just to feed them in this bowl. But the, uh, the brooder has got a wood-based cat litter. All right, all right. So we've got Spook, there's one of these. And that looks like Spook there. This one, this is the one I'm identifying as Spook. All close run. And we've got a guy called Dave. This is, I understand, is Sandra's spook. And we've got Dave from Durham has already put a purchase on, on one of the other babies. This little fella, pretty sure it is a cockbird, but time will tell. And uh, if you do want one sex, then I can deal with them so we can be absolutely sure. But generally, I'm normally right. That's the only fella, that one. When you have them at this size, each morning I wear them. And you'll see every morning their weight will decrease between 10 and 20 gram. That can, of course, be a, a consistency of the food. You don't always get it right and have the same consistency. It could be too thin, so if it was too thin, then the weight will be, will be put on uh, slightly. If it's thick, it's a thick solution, like hand rain and food, and of course the birds will increase the weight. So uh, you try and keep the same consist consistency of the hand rain and food. I have found animals on hand rain food to be very good. Uh, even smells nicer than most uh, to the human smell. And I've never had a problem. And all the chicks that I've bred with them do tend to be quite large chicks. As you can see, the website PK Birds, uh, www.pkbirds.co.uk. I'm in the process of putting together another a monthly newsletter. We've had some concerns lately about an African grey orby. Uh, nearly hung himself on, on a toy. And uh, I'm going to do an article on that. And an article on dangers in the home environment. Which will be interested to know that uh, Teflon poisoning is another big killer uh, of birds. 